Hello guys and welcome to my channel what is tutorial uh, today we are going to design a baseball cap so let's see how to design that in SolidWorks first of all we have to select top plane sketch now select ellipse ellipse draw horizontally and vertically like this go to smart dimension the distance from this to this point is 250 mm and take distance from this point to this point 190 mm now select this point and by uh, holding and pressing control key select this point and make relation horizontal now control it again for normal go here to center line draw a center line from this point to this point and one center line from this point to this point also and one center line from this point to this point now go to smart dimension the angle between this line and this line we are going to take it as 60 mm now go to mirror entities entities to mirror we want this entity to mirror mirror about this line click ok now again go to mirror entities select this entity and this entity and we are going to mirror about this line click ok now we have a structure like this this is our first first sketch exit from the sketch now select front plane sketch control 8 for normal now again go to ellipse to cent uh, draw from the origin to this edge point and again go upward and leave it like this control it for normal again go to line center line draw a line from this to this point now again go to smart dimension and this line should be of 100 mm now again as we uh, don't want this part so we have to trim this part for trimming we should have a line here so select this line convert it entities now go to trim entities trim this okay and we don't need this also we made this because we wanted to remove the lower portion of the ellipse trim this also this also click ok again exit from the sketch now go to a reference geometry select plane as we want to draw a plane uh, parallel to or we can say that uh, collinear to this line so what we are going to do this do is select this line and this point and note all the parameters which are here uh, this should be coincident and here we have selected this line and second reference we have selected this point upper point click ok now again now again we are going to make a plane select plane select this line and 
this upper point again click ok now hide these planes sketch on this hide this plane now select ellipse again sorry ellipse again start from this origin point go up to this point as you can see that as you can see that it is expanding along the plane it is not going uh, sharp uh, vertically sharp horizontally but it is uh, going upward at an angle because we made our plane at an angle at a certain angle so for that to complete this sketch choose this point now exit from the sketch now again we don't want this lower portion for that we are going to trim this portion just by selecting this line and converting this and selecting this line selecting this line also converting this and trim entities trim trim this also trim this also select this point on this ellipse, uh, semi ellipse select this sketch make relation pierce and select this line sorry this point and this ellipse make relation pierce now our sketch is fully defined now select another plane which we have made exit from the sketch select plane second sketch now again we are going to repeat that step select ellipse select this center point or you can say that origin point expand it to this point and go upward to this point now we don't want this lower portion so again we are going to repeat that step just by selecting this line and this line and converting it okay now go to trim entities delete this delete this delete this okay can we delete this point okay leave it now again select this point select this this sketch make relation pierce select this point select this ellipse make relation pierce so our sketch is fully defined now exit from the sketch go to surface and here select filled surface select this lower surface uh, lower ellipse and here go to constraint curve select check box this uh, check this box and select all the uh, semi ellipses like this sketch this sketch and this sketch select this sketch this sketch and this sketch so we we will have a structure like this our cap is uh, taking shape slowly now check box check this So now we are going to draw the strap on the back of this for that select right plane sketch control 8 now go to circle make a circle of dia 80 mm now just select line make a line horizontal line 
the distance from this point to this line is 15 mm now click ok trim entities now we forgot to add the th thickness to this just go to thickness select this surface which we made here select 2 mm inside don't forget to check this first one this one click ok Uh, this sketch should be uh, made after we have uh, after the application of the thickness command so we just uh, uh, we just uh, like we just hold that sketch and drag drag it down we did nothing just hold that sketch and drag it under the thickness command so don't forget to do that now just go to features extruded cut select this sketch i think we should cut this way Select top plane sketch, control 8. Now we have, uh, we should have a cut on this side because when you will select the top plane and, uh, and then uh, you will have to, like, you will have to uh, make the top plane parallel to the screen. By pressing Control A, then this cut should come on the left side. So make sure that. So I'm going to reverse the cut. Go to cut extrude. Uh, exit from the sketch. Go to cut extrude. Edit feature. This cut should be on the other side. Click OK. Now that's fine. Now we are going to make the uh, strap strap line on this. Just select right plane sketch, control eight for normal. Or first we are going to make the stretches marks select top plane sketch control 8 for normal just go to uh, go and find first sketch sketch first here so that Now go to circle, select this point, draw a circle, this should be of radius 1 mm. As we don't want this uh, lower portion, so we are going to actually select this we are actually going to convert the entities select this sketch convert entities 
so it has been converted go to trim entities yeah trim the unwanted parts now just exit from the sketch go to swipe boss base select the sketch which we had made click on this sketch 8 or you can directly select this semicircle now just go to surface fill select sketch 4 click ok You can see that we have a stitches marks on this cap on this side and on other side we have to repeat that command again go to top plane sketch select circle draw a circle here go to smart dimension and again this should be of dia 1 click this again convert entity now again trim entity go to trim entity trim the unwanted parts this also now again go to features swipe boss base and select this semicircle as a sketch profile and for the path we are going to select this uh, this is sketch 3 now click ok Now select this first sketch and hide this. We have a structure like this. Now go to top plane again, sketch, control 8. Select circle, make a circle in the center. Click OK. And this circle should be of 15 mm dia click ok go to features extruded boss base from select offset offset this up to 102 mm and reverse the direction and select up to surface go here and select the surface or you can select any of the surface this 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 click ok selected now we are going to draw the uh, projection line on this we are going to just differentiate the strap for that we are going to use the split lines now select right plane sketch control 8 for normal select circle draw a circle the dia of the circle should be 80 mm that's it now go to features split lines current sketch is already selected that which is this and here don't forget to tick uh, projection 
and on the surface we are going to select this now click ok now you can see that the strap is a single entity now is differentiated Now go to top plane again, sketch, control it for normal. Now select first sketch, show, and first sketch. <coughs> Just rotate this and come to bottom. Select this sketch and this sketch convert entities now select the inner uh, actually inner portion inner edge and select convert entities now go to trim entities trim this portion and ok now select this this sketch first and hide this you will come across a, a sketch like this select this one select this line choose here for construction click ok exit from the sketch now we are going to sketch we are going to use in this uh, tutorial a new command or you can say that a new feature which is 3d sketch select point one point make one point two point three point four point five point six point actually now what you have to do is pick any one point pick, uh, let's say I'm going to pick this point and now I'm going to put the parameters just watch it carefully this is very important 100 and y coordinate we have is 15 and z we have is 90 click ok now we have placed a point successfully here now we are going to place second point select this point and put x as 160 y as minus 20 and z as 75 another point is fixed on this here on this position now select another point select this point 185x y is minus 15 z is 45 another point is fixed here now select this point fourth point and x is 195 y is minus 10 click ok now again fifth point now select fifth, fifth point and this should be 185 and this should be minus 15 and y or actually z should be minus 45 now click ok we are left with this point 6 point 160 minus 20 
minus 75 click ok now we need another point actually so for that again select point click here select this point which we have drawn like this select x 100 y should be minus 15 and z should be minus 19 remember that so these are all the seven points so your uh, point should look like this point first should be placed at this position point second at this position point third at at this position point four at this position point five at this position and so on you can note all the points points position position coordinates you can pause the video and note that Now we are going to do, we are going to select spline, and select this point, select this point, first point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point, sixth point, seventh point, and this point click ok now exit from the sketch go to surfaces field surface select this 3d sketch and this sketch and now click ok So we have a hat top like this. Now just go to thickness, select the surface. Thickness should be upper side actually. And now click OK. So, uh, thickness should be of 2 mm, you can see that 2 mm merge results and this should be selected side 2, click OK. We are almost done actually, now we are going to design the logo of Nike. Now select this surface, Sur uh, actually go to surfaces, offset surface, select offset surface, select this top one, offset upward up to 0.13 mm, now click OK. Now select top plane sketch, control 8 for normal. Select center line, draw center line from the uh, origin or uh, like draw center line which is collinear to origin point. Select draw vertical one, again horizontal one, oh, sorry but horizontal one first and then vertical one. Now go to smart dimension, dimension this horizontal one as 75 mm and this should be also of 75 mm now just go here and draw draw 
draw a line like this again select line again draw a line like this now go to smart dimension sorry select this point and this point merge go to smart dimension select the center line select this outer one the angle between these two lines should be 52 degree and the angle between these two lines should be 44 degrees now go to three point arc make three point arc select one point here one point here like this now again select three point arc select this point this point and like this select smart dimension again this should be of 6 mm radius and this is 4.5 mm radius okay now select this this arc and this line make relation tangent by pressing control key and holding that select this line and select this line and make relation tangent now go to smart dimension the distance from this point to this point aligned distance you can see that should be 34 mm and from this point to this point aligned distance sorry this should not come here delete this then select smart dimension select this point and this point this should be 32 mm click ok now go to features extruded boss base from select surface uh, go here and select dot drop down menu select this offset surface reverse the direction up to next now click ok Now just go to the surface which we had offset it like this one select height. Now we have a beautiful logo of uh, Nike. Now we are going to uh, write here uh, Nike in words. Just for that go to right plane sketch control 8 normal. Select midpoint line actually. Like this. Select this point and this point, origin point, make relation vertical. Click OK. Now go to smart dimension. The distance from origin to this line should be 20 mm. again go to smart dimension this line should be of 125 mm now select this line for construction now click ok select here text by remaining in a sketch uncheck this use the document font go to fonts he 
here go to italic and Arial and here you need select 35 mm click ok now here by pressing caps lock type in capital Nike and curve under the curve under the cup option curve option select this curve and here if it is going downwards you can select this flip vertical and it should be in the middle now ok now just exit from the sketch Uh, go to surfaces we are going to uh, offset another surface go to offset surface select this surface offset this up to actually you should offset this up to 0 0.25 0 0.25 mm outwards click ok now again go to features extruded boss base select Nike or this catch now from select here under from option go to surfaces faces we are going to select the surfaces which we had offset right now go to surface offset second select this and reverse the direction inwards it should be inwards now here under the direction one select up to next it should take a bit longer now click ok Now just go to uh, select this surface, outer surface which we had offsetted and go to hide this. We have a cap like this. Now just go to features, fillet, choose your point 2 mm, full logo, now click OK. You can go to fillet. 0.2 mm we forgot to select this edge also now click ok so it is not going to or you can select this face also this leave it now just go to fillet again choose here point seven five mm here select this upper portion click OK again choose fillet select here 0.5 mm select this 
select this edge now click ok so our baseball cap is ready so you can see that we had designed the logo and nike written on it we have designed the stitches and here we have a strap one we have one strap let's go here appearances appearances mm, this should be of fabric type clothes white cotton blue cotton canvas should be of canvas type actually body apply to all body now here go to uh, edit appearance here select color blue select faces or you can see that select body select this body click ok now again go to edit appearance select red one you can select the surfaces bodies features select features actually uh, which was the logo one scroll down boss extrude select this and which one was boss extrude 2 this thing and sorry split line should be eliminated click ok so you can say you can see that our baseball cap is ready so this is this was our beautiful a uh, baseball cap so that's it from this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any query any if you need any help you can comment below and bye bye